What is up, motorcycle maniacs? This is January 12th, and it is a nice and brisk morning. The day is upon us. What choice did me and the woman make? What bike are we going to get? The big bike reveal will be coming up shortly. Pretty stoked, man. It's a it's a nice cold day, and I'm like, I don't care. I'm going to get my new bike, my new ride. Uh, the good news is, I mean, well, it's also bittersweet because I do love the bobber. So if you are watching this and you're interested in the bobber, I'm not getting rid of this bike because uh, I'm not happy with it. Uh, I haven't owned it very long, uh, but uh, I've outgrown it just because Lisa has become more into the motorcycle riding and I didn't think that was going to happen. So I bought this bike just for me as a solo rider and uh, I figured the few times that she would probably want to ride uh, we could manage on this and she's more interested in it and now it's just uncomfortable for two people really. Uh, I will say that about the bobber. This is a good city bike, solo bike in my opinion. Uh, for two people, two of them, it's not ideal. So uh, that's what made this decision, or why I made my decision to get rid of this bike. The good news is, is it's staying in the family. Uh, Lisa's son is going to buy the bobber. And that is awesome. Because first off, I just still have access to it. And uh, that's cool. And also, I'm getting a new rider involved in riding. It'll be his first motorcycle. I think it'll be a great one, like I said in other videos. I think this is a good starter bike. And uh, he likes it, so uh, that's good. He wants it, so he's going to get this one. Uh, we'll get the new one. And y'all will find out what the new one is shortly. Uh, so uh, stay tuned for the big bike reveal. Here I am, man, for the big bike reveal. I actually came to this beautiful park. Um, so uh, you say, you're at the park, but there's no bike. <laughs> so that's coming up. First, uh, like I said in the, in the beginning of this video, because I did one little snippet of the day I sold the bobber and picked up my new bike. And... So I got just a little bit of riding going uh, to the dealership. Didn't record any from the dealership um, because basically it's a bike reveal. So I didn't want to have to put a whole lot of stuff. This video hopefully won't be super long. I just wanted to do a quick bike reveal. I'm sure most of y'all probably figured out what I got, but you just never know. So uh, Here's the here's the big bike reveal. I know y'all are waiting for it. You don't even know where it's at. We're in the park. You're like, there's no bike around here. Cameraman, kind of pan back and forth over here. See, it's just, there's empty spots. Over there, empty spots. So, I know y'all are waiting for it. I know y'all want to know about it. I know y'all want to see it. I'm super excited to show it to you. So, here it is, people, the 2019 Indian Chieftain Dark Horse in the white smoke. Uh, being the Dark Horse, it's got all the blacked out exhaust, the motor. I had a real tough time on color, people. Uh, the white and black, uh, I really did like. I was a little worried about keeping it clean, keeping scuffs off of it. But um, it came down to, I, I was looking at black, but nobody in Texas had, or in my area in Texas, didn't even have one. So, it came down to this or the bronze smoke. Bronze smoke is beautiful also. Um, but, me and uh, the girl kicked it back and forth, back and forth. And we, I mean, we did everything just trying to figure out what to go with. And we both come back to this bike really stands out. The white with the black accents looks great. So, um we got it. Uh, 
another thing I've got to do is I've got to give a shout out to where I got this bike. I know in my past videos I've talked up Indiana of uh, Fort Worth. I'm still not going to talk bad about them, okay? Um, but I got a deal of a, well, everybody's going to say they had a, probably got a good deal. I really got a good deal on this bike um, for being a brand new, uh, hadn't been on the road very long. Uh, so they probably didn't really have to work. I mean, they obviously want to sell them because it's winter. Not a, a lot of people are buying bikes. So that probably helped. Um, but if y'all are interested, go to Big Tex Indian in Denton, Texas. Uh, Bill, the manager, uh, and Billy, the sales, I think he's a sales manager. Uh, both of those guys treated me awesome. Uh, they actually facilitated the sale of my bobber to uh, Lisa's son. Got that all handled for us. Uh, I got some add-ons uh, for basically zero, like the backrest, luggage rack, uh, passenger rear floorboards, and the aftermarket grips. Uh, so like I said, they treated me really good, I think. I got a pretty good deal. And another reason I think I got a really good deal is I had three dark horses in that dealership they had two bronze smokes smoke and the white smoke uh when i went up to buy it i was like okay a bronze smoke was gone and this one was gone i figured okay they're putting my parts on so i go in the back check out the bike and the bronze smokes back there and i'm like hey did y'all sell it he goes yeah same day you told us you were going to come get it we sold the bronze smoke to a guy from houston and he's on his way up here from houston while I was there doing all the paperwork and everything, boom, he shows up with a truck and a trailer. So I talked to the guy. I'm like, man, why did you drive all the way to Denton, Texas to get this bike? He said best deal he could find in the state at Big Tex of Denton. So that tells me I'm correct in saying that they they make deals, man. They, they want to sell their customer service. Awesome. Treated us great. No complaints. And I still don't have any complaints about Fort Worth, Indian. They just didn't work with me on the price. Uh, so I'm going to tell you, if you're in the area and you're looking for an Indian, go up there to Big Tex Indian of Denton. It'll be worth the drive. Obviously, a guy drove from Houston. So um, definitely check them out. But anyway, this is the bike. Um, I think it's beautiful. The white really stands out. Uh, the black accents pop on it. Um, I don't really, I didn't really like the look of the pegs on the back for the passenger. And so I wanted the, the aftermarket floorboards. And I think those really look good. I'm not a real big fan of the bottom of them because they are chrome. Uh, but I thought about maybe doing some plasti dip on those or something. I don't know. We'll see. Problem is, is you really don't see it because they're down most of the time because my lady rides with me in style and comfort now. Um, I was, like I said, I was concerned about the, the, uh, the color on being dirty. So, uh, you can kind of see, I rode just a little bit today and there's stuff on here, but I sprayed this, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's supposed to be really good stuff and it helps, uh, basically keep dust, dirt and, uh, debris off the bike and who knows? We'll see if it works. I used it on the bobber. It seemed to work pretty good. Uh, also, yeah, I mentioned that sold the bobber to Lisa's son, so that's still in the family. Uh, you probably won't see uh, see me on it a lot because it's his bike, but I already told him I might come over for visitations. Uh, so that's one thing good. It is still in the family because I really didn't want to get rid of that bike. I love that bike, but this is so much more comfortable. It's going to work out so much better for me and my girlfriend. Uh, we rode home from Denton, which is about a 50-mile drive for us. It was cold. It was like probably 40-something, and we had to do a lot of the highway riding. Um, and it was just a great, great ride. Uh, both of us really enjoyed it. We didn't even want to go in, but we were cold. So, And today, same thing. It's like 50, so it's a little warmer today. Uh, so we're kind of chomping at the bit to get on it. But right now, we're going to hop on it, and we're going to take off. And I'm going to get some uh, video of us cruising here for just a little bit so y'all can get the dash and everything uh so stay tuned for that we'll see you in a flash riding the new night 2019 chieftain dark horse in white smoke and also i've already named it people i came up with the name uh, 
it's an Indian, and I named it Cochise. So this bike is now Cochise. And uh, in my opinion, it's badass, and I love it. Uh, so stay tuned. We're about to get on it, and we'll take you along for the ride. Okay, here we are on the machine. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, people. I still had not got all this uh, figured out yet. You can do so much with this bike. You can customize these two different screens. You can have one solid screen. You can have two split screens. Uh, and you can customize it to navigation on this side. Uh, as I got here, vehicle status, my tire pressure, voltage, when my next oil change is due. Uh, you can flip through to go to that fuel range, uh, average speed, time, the radio. You can get to your uh, vehicle control ride modes, which I love about this bike. Uh, tour, standard, and sport. And let's put that in sport. And the radio is awesome. I don't want to play it for you because obviously uh, YouTube will spank me. Uh, so let's get it for the ride, man. But yeah, man, this bike is uh, nice. I'm not going to get too in-depth on anything, uh, obviously. And uh, another thing I apologize about this video being extra late, but uh, the weather and uh, the whole process of going and buying it, I didn't get a lot of video of. So uh, forgive me on that, and I'm sorry it came out late, but it was really cold yesterday, and we were very busy we were going to try to do it yesterday so i could get it uploaded but like i said here in the next uh, video or so i'm probably going to do uh why i chose this bike over the harley so stay tuned for that it might help some of y'all people if y'all are trying to make the decision or like i was and what kind of got me pushed over the edge but uh, i think this bike is beautiful it rides awesome and uh, uh i've been jonesing to get on it and i still got i've got my preset set and that's about it and my phone connected and I still got to play with these uh the screen because I want to be able to uh set it up the way I want it for the split screens but other than that people man I really appreciate y'all watching checking it out like I said I'm sure y'all probably had a pretty good guess on what I was going to get because we talked the Indian up and I like I said I talked the street glide up too I don't have no problem with Harley uh, I'm not trying to diss Harley I love them. Uh, I love the Indian. Uh, it just comes down to, like I said, this future video, I'll go over all that. And then that way y'all can understand what made, made me make the decision. I'm in no means talking bad about Harley. It's just, that's what I did. I hope I kind of surprised some people because y'all might've thought I was gonna go with that street glide with the blue pinstripes because that was a beautiful bike. Um, but it, like I said, it come down to several different factors and the Indian won out. Thanks again, people, for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for the, the likes, the subscribes, all that good stuff. Uh, check back for the next video and uh, hit that bell. That way you'll know when that uh, next video comes out about this comparison between the uh, Street Glide and the Dark Horse. So take care, ride safe, and as for me and Lisa, we tell you bye on the beautiful Cochise. Bye.